Check it out. He comes with the underhook. I tie the rope. Look. And we're in. Got him. We got him. You guys, Gracie Garages are unofficial at-home training centers where people get together, Gracie University students, using nothing but the online curriculum to grow together, train together. They get down at 4.30 a.m. three days a week here in Orlando at James Beecher's Gracie Garage, and here we are. Now, I've done surprise drop-ins at many Gracie Garages, but this is my first time doing a surprise actual seminar. Over 20 people on the mats. There's mats all the way out the garage. Come see this awesome technique. Check this out. Time! Check it out. Next slice right here, you guys. Check it out. So Dars Mastery we're talking about. When it comes to Dars Chokes, there's no greater invitation for the Dars than the underhook, right? So we're chest to chest. The person starts pumping the underhook. My elbow goes over, I let them up. Look, I tie the rope, boom. When I tie the rope, I hope that they bring their arm in, look, to defend the Dars or the guillotine, and that's when I punch through T-Rex. Glove application, chest pressure, southward, chest to back. Everything's perfect. The problem is when you wrap the neck right here with the guillotine set up, the rope tie, you initially tie the rope. One of the greatest impediments to the Dars right here is when they have a really high underhook. If they keep this and they don't come in to defend their neck, it's actually quite difficult because my arm isn't long enough to go from here all the way through to the other side of his neck. So if this happens, we're here, check it out. He comes with the underhook, I tie the rope, Look, and we're in, got him, we got him. Check it out, details you guys, look. When I tie the rope right here, his hand is deeply underhooked right here. I can't get in because it's too powerful of an underhook. Watch what I do. Step one, leg up. Step two, you create a shell for his hand to get trapped. And now, using my armpit on his elbow, the hand comes in, bring it in. Now we go through, boom. So you see this, this hand right here, you have to make the risk of the underhook greater than the benefit of the underhook. And you do that by creating that shelf. South leg, step up, deeper underhook, high and tight. Keep it up there. Look, so as I'm gonna do it very slow because some of our viewers at home can't understand where the pressure is or what you're even feeling. So you make noise in correlation to the pressure extent. Watch, look slowly, I'm gonna do very slow. Leg up, just keep your arms strong, look. Take your armpit, slide slight, no, no. Take my armpit, I they stay there, Eddie. I'm gonna slide slightly south to his elbow, up just above his elbow here. Boom, and now with my leg as the shelf, look, look, slow. Feel freeze. So what happens here is I put the armbar pressure on his elbow. If his arm bends in the process, then it becomes an Americana pressure, where it's twisting the shoulder, his arm is stuck, and I'm doing this. In either case, extended or bent, he's incentivized to immediately swim inside and hide that hand, which perfectly sets us up for the previous slice, which is the rope run, T-Rex, glove application, chest pressure, full body squeeze on the darts. There you go. <laughs> okay, so let's tie the rope on the underhook. Big underhook for the bottom person. Keep it stubborn there. Other person, be gradual, be friendly, be gentle, right? They're gonna do it on you right after. Step your leg up. Look, move your armpit just slightly south. Get that pressure, and they're gonna run off the shelf. Feeling the arm lock or the shoulder lock, that's when you take your hand, you run the rope through to the T-Rex, elbows tight, put on the glove, chalk the shoulder, chest to back, all we do the pressure we talked about. Slow motion, let's help each other, here we go. So that's how they get down right here, you guys. Great group all over Orlando. They get together, 4.30 in the morning, they do this. I don't even know if I could hang with this Gracie Garage, but that's how they do it. Super proud of the guys here. In fact, James is on the quest to open the first certified training center in Orlando as a result of the success here at the Gracie Garage. So to the whole team, to James and the crew, congratulations, you guys. Thank you for the support. I know there's many Gracie Garages out there in the middle of nowhere, and you guys are getting down. We see you, we appreciate you, because if it weren't for these little training hubs that get down, hey, a lot of people wouldn't be able to learn jujitsu. But right now, all this is possible because they share the love and they're dedicated with or without an instructor. The Eddie Gracie way. You watch, you practice, and you correct your own mistakes. You refine based on leverage, and you let effectiveness, efficiency, and alavanka be your own teacher. Congratulations, guys. All Gracie Garage. If you don't have a Gracie Garage in your neighborhood, you need to start one. Peace.